Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are here for the next installment of Diamond with Every Gun. And today we're moving on to a couple things that are a little bit more interesting than some of the rifles that we've been using. We've got ourselves the 16 gauge slugs along with the 45 Colt. Now, we're only having two in this episode because I've been having a lot of issues finding diamonds for this series. And unfortunately, it just was not possible to get this out within the amount of time that I wanted and also have four in there like the previous episodes so we only have two in this one today now I do want to real quickly say that it has been a couple weeks since I killed um, a couple of the trophies in here actually all of them now that I think of it all of these were taken at least two to three weeks ago so it's been quite some time since I got them and just have not been able to get anything else for this uh, video so we're just gonna have to go with these two but I hope you guys enjoyed and Without further ado, let's jump into it. So we ended up spotting a level 5 blacktail right over in this area, but I can't get a view on it. Actually, there it is. I was going to say I can't get a view on it now, but it looks like it just moved over a little bit. And this is kind of in a bad spot. It's going to be interesting to see if we can actually make it up close and still be able to see it with all this brush, but we got to get pretty close because we have the 357 next in the list, so... Yeah, this is going to be interesting. When I first initially spotted this guy, the wind was blowing right at him, so we had to move completely around to the left, which has made this a little bit of an interesting stock so far. We started kind of over here and have had to move all the way around here, and now we're about halfway to him, so we're getting closer, but we're definitely nowhere near being at the range I'd like to be for the 357. This gun is not known for being very strong, so... I would prefer to get a full broadside shot on this guy, but if we get close enough, that shouldn't be too big of an issue as far as I know. Now, the thing about Blacktail is they are far from a guarantee at being a diamond, but this guy's got pretty good back tines, so I think he's probably going to make it, even if it's just barely. But it does look like this guy should end up making it, so we should be okay there. There he is. Look at the size of this guy. The closer we get, the more I can tell that this guy is probably going to be a diamond. And let's probably take him out now. I think we can hit lung from this angle. We should be okay. Just going to wait for him to lift his head up again. I don't want to add any extra flesh that we have to get through. I think that was good. We got him. He's going down. 50 to 75. And I think we might have actually just used the 45 instead of the 357. But, I mean, either way, this was still a gun we needed to use. So, not too big of a deal. So, it was definitely a vital hit. And, by the looks of it, it went down pretty quickly. So, we shouldn't have to wait too long to see if this guy makes diamond. And I checked and we did shoot it with the 45. So I guess we're checking the 45 Colt off of the list instead of the 357 if this guy ends up making diamond. And by the looks of that rack, he should make diamonds. So I think we'll be okay there. And there he is. So let's run up to him and see if he's a diamond. It's hard to tell from this angle, but he's definitely the thinner antlers. He doesn't have nearly as much mass as the big rack ones do, so if this guy does make diamond, it's probably going to be I-170s if I were to take a guess. Let's go ahead and claim him as far over here as we can. It is a diamond, and it is high 170s like I was thinking, 179.40, but that is going to check the 45 Colt off of the list, and this is the first diamond blacktail that I've killed in a very long time. I think the last two or three that we've killed have been trolls, so it's nice to finally get a diamond one. Even if it is the small rack, we need to eventually get the big rack so that we can have the thicker antlers, which is going to be a lot better than what this guy looks like. But that's still really, really awesome. I looked at him, and because he had a small rack, I just immediately thought he was level two. But that actually is a level three whitetail. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I thought for sure that that was just a level two. And I bet because of that, it's probably going to be a troll. I can't see this guy making it. I saw you look over it four times. Well, it's because I did not think that that was big enough. That rack looks like a level two. I mean, just in case it does make diamond, we should probably use a gun we haven't used yet. In diamond with every gun. 
So we got the 357 here. He has a really small chance at diamond. Yeah, he's got a very, very small chance, but it's such a small... What am I looking... Wow. That guy's got a much better chance, though. So I take a break from Whitetail, and this is what's waiting for us. Holy. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> I think this guy... Where is he? He's hiding right there. I think he's pretty much guaranteed. That one looks way nicer. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that guy. That is such a huge whitetail. Such a monster whitetail. The thing is, we need to take both of these out with different guns. Just in case they both make diamond. I'm pretty sure that one's going to be a troll. But just in case it makes it, I need to take it with a different gun than I'm taking this big guy with. We take like a two week break because of that troll great one and then we come back and find this. Honestly, I could not be happier. So I think we're going to take out the first one with slugs. And then the second one we will take out with, where is it? The 357. Look at the size of him. That guy's huge. He doesn't have the best tip to tip spread, but it's a big deer. Uh oh. Uh oh, it just hit 15. Next time he gives us a shot, we gotta take it. We got him. Oh my gosh, we got him. There we go. Where's the other guy? Oh wait, that's him. No, that's not him. Where'd he go? Oh, I think that's him. Ah, he's running. If he would not have ran, I would have taken that shot. Well, this just got a lot harder to get number two. If the time hadn't gone past 15, I think we probably would have been able to just wait for him to come back, but now we're going to have to change the time, I believe, in order to get him to come back here, but we got the big one. So this is the main thing I wanted to get down first. Look at the size of this monster. That is such a huge deer. Oh, that is a cool picture. I really like the way that looks. Alright, well, let's go ahead and pick this guy up. It looks to be an absolute giant. So, let's hope that this checks off the 16 gauge shell from the drilling rifle. I'm pretty sure it will because this thing looks absolutely massive. 265. What a giant. Oh my gosh, it's max weight. It's max weight. Well, that's a nice surprise. It's got kind of a funky rack, too. If this guy was even... Oh, oh, wow. If this guy was even... This would be an absolute monster. Yeah, there's like a total of six inches in difference between these two. This thing would have been like 271, 272 if it had even antlers. That is a massive white-tailed deer. Not nearly as massive as the broken great one that we got, but... Still a beast of a whitetail. Can't really complain there. This guy's huge. There he is. There's the level three. There's that giant whitetail. This guy is nowhere near a guarantee. But we're going to hope for the best here. I have not used 16 gauge buckshot on a whitetail deer ever. So I don't know how it's going to do. Hopefully it does well. But it's really hard to say. So we kind of know where this guy is, but he's in a spot that is really difficult to see. And I don't know if he's going to come to the calls. Because of the fact that he's kind of around water, and typically water will stop animals from being able to loop around. So I don't know how this is going to go. Hopefully it goes pretty well, though. There he is. He's looking right at us. 
We're actually going to prone down because I don't want to screw this up. I don't want him to get alerted before we get a chance to actually take a shot at him. So let's crawl up as far as we can. We'll hide in one of the trees and then do a little more calling. Okay, this is actually going to be really interesting. I don't know how this is going to go at all. This is going to be super, super interesting. We got one of the bucks coming around to the right a little bit. But I don't see the big level 3 or any of the other deer. They have all moved out of that spot. So something tells me they are all going to be right on top of us very, very shortly. Can't find a spot where we're hidden. Maybe right here? Oh yeah, there we go. We're hidden now. There's the one. There's the two behind him. We need the level 3 to cooperate, but he's being very stubborn. In fact, he might have even gone back to his normal spot. Oh, it's 1511. Ooh, that's not good. They might have already left. Are you kidding me? If that's the case, I'm going to be so upset. Oh, wait, there we go. There's a deer. Which one of you? That's a doe. There he is. Oh my gosh, we got him. <gasps> Ow. And we got hit by him. That could not have gone more perfect. What a perfect way to get a buck down with the 16 gauge shells out of the drilling rifle. Please let this be a diamond. If this is a diamond, this is officially the most insane whitetail herd we've ever come across. It's a gold by just a little bit. That is so unfortunate. Wow. 254.10. It trolled us by just a little bit. Well, I knew it was too good to be true. But it was very close. So, so close. On the bright side, 16 gauge buckshot did the trick my gosh all right everybody so now that you have seen the video here is that diamond black tail deer that we got 179.4 it's a pretty good looking black tail even though it didn't score super high at least it doesn't have the extremely stubby back tines because some of the really small diamonds the ones that just barely make it do have uh, shorter back tines this guy does at least have decently long ones but not nearly the amount of mass that i would have liked it to have unfortunately but it's still a diamond blacktail, which is something we hadn't got in quite a while, and it's actually been a couple weeks since we got it, as you guys can see by the, uh, the time frame that I killed it in, but I just now decided to push it out in the next episode of Diamond With Every Gun because we weren't really getting enough, uh, diamonds to make the next episode for, uh, diamonds in one. I had to just settle for two this time, but I wanted to get another episode of the series out to you guys, so that's what we ended up doing. Now this guy right here is the 265 whitetail that we ended up getting and I can't show the rest of the mount because it would spoil a future video and we wouldn't want that to happen but this guy right here is the 265 or one of these two is at least I can't really tell which one from this angle and I don't remember what order they're in in the mount so can't really get any confirmation which one it is but it's one of these two right here scoring 265 and it was a pretty good sized whitetail but I wasn't really thinking when I made a multi mount with it and a couple others because I, I didn't realize that I'd have a spoiler with something that would be in this video so I wasn't really thinking when I decided to make a mount with this guy and one of the newer ones because I didn't realize I'd be making a separate video on this guy right here that would have a spoiler so we're just going to take the quick look at this guy and then move on so that we don't accidentally spoil one of the future videos, but that is going to be it for today. I hope you all enjoyed. If you are brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. I do post three to five videos a week along with daily live streams starting at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, be sure to hit that like button if you haven't already and leave a comment down below. It is a massive help to the channel, and I try to interact with you guys as much as I can and reply to as many comments as possible. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.
Peace.